Uh, we are here today. Today is uh, Wednesday, the 30th of June. Uh, just started on this truck a couple days ago. I'm going to try to do a build series on it. Uh, this is my buddy Nelson from Jacksonville. Uh, 88 Chevrolet CTN. Uh, it's a long bed. Um, got some spokes on it. Like, cool little truck. Uh, Nelson bought this truck for an old work truck just to beat it around in. And he gave it to his dad. And his dad drove it up until his dad passed away. And Nelson got the truck back. And his dad was part Puerto Rican. He liked spokes. He liked low riders, you know. So we're doing a full air ride, all infamous suspension. Um, uh, I had to put a motor in the truck. The motor was blowed up. It had a bunch of blow by. It still run, but uh, he wanted to put a fresh motor in it. So I had a motor left over out of a project I just finished uh, where we put a little hot rod motor in a truck. Um, cleaned it up, resealed it. We should stab that guy here in just a minute. I uh, wanted to get it running and driving before I took the suspension apart. Uh, we're almost at that point. Probably uh, by the weekend, be taking the bed off, getting ready to put suspension in it. Uh, Y'all check this thing out, man. It's gonna be it's gonna be a cool old truck. Uh, it ain't the the normal that we build. You know, everything we build's got big wheels and uh, you know hopped up motors and all that. This 15s and spokes, Vogue tires. You know, whole different style. I'm excited to build this one. I'm I'm really excited to see this truck laid out for the first time. Um, may take me 20 videos to get it together, but we're going to try to document all of it for you. Y'all watch along. This old 350 we pulled out of Nelson's truck. Uh, still run. Uh, had a bunch of blow by, like this tube right here when you crank it up, was shooting steam out. Yeah, you were right. I believe that one was blowed up. 95 model, 350. Uh, factory fuel injection, I mean, everything. So far, I've, I've pulled the I pulled the oil pan off. I resealed the oil pan. I put a rear main seal in it. Uh, valve cover gaskets, timing cover gasket, intake gaskets, everything's new. So the motor shouldn't leak. Uh, it, it had a leak whenever uh, I pulled it out. It had some, some oil and stuff on it, so we cleaned it up. New water pump. Um, you know, so we're fixing to drop it back in there tonight, see if we can get this thing running later on tonight. Put new plugs, plug wires on it last night. Uh, I'm fixing to take the motor mounts off the old motor, put on the new motor, and hook a chain up, get ready to swing it in there. When my help showed up, got the motor stabbed down in there. Pick it up and stick this transmission back in. We're gonna drive it tomorrow. Yeah? Tonight. No, it won't be tonight. I forgot an oil filter earlier, and it's already nine o'clock, so maybe tomorrow. All right, go ahead, try it. Bed's finally coming off. Uh, apparently this truck uh, come from the beach because there is a bunch of rust up under there. Took us two hours to get the bed bolts out. He back here trying to break stuff. So this thing had a uh, ratchet strap holding the front of the gas tank up. And I couldn't get to this bed bolt with the impact. And I couldn't turn it by hand. So I took my pocket knife and cut the ratchet strap gas tank fell down all the gas run to the front now it won't crank <laughs> so once we get the bed off i got to ratchet strap it back up if i can get it in the shop all right so first thing we done was clean the top of the frame up used a plumb bob to find the center of that over the axle marked it measured our notch from infamous it's five inches across here uh marked it two and a half we're gonna center this notch over the frame right here over the rear start cutting it out
Nell's name to turn him back now. <laughs> All right, so the other day we got the notches in and I had to quit and get it out of the way. So now we're fixing to get rid of all the exhaust, what's left of it, it's all junk anyway. It's a little scaly, like your ass. Uh, fuel tank's gotta go, which means we have to take one ratchet strap loose and one bolt to get that out. Just start putting this three link on. Hey y'all, this is November. Say hey, November. <laughs> She's about to learn how to run a saw off. Go ahead. Alright, one more. Right there. Oh, Attempt number 618. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Oh my gosh. You know how nervous this is making me? Oh, Yay! Yay! Good job! <laughs> Alright, I cut that one out there. Where? That metal, that metal bar. First thing we done was put the infamous raised gas tank cross member in. That side bolted up, move your arm. That side bolted up to the factory rivet holes. This side we had to drill three holes. And he's losing my parts over there. Tastes like carry <laughs> Fall back. Pull it. Let me see it. <laughs> Yo. Oh. Tell your hand ain't grown. Come on, use your other hand. <laughs> Three link mocked up last night. I gotta weld the rear end to the notch so that I can roll the truck. Gotta turn it around, put it on lift backwards so I can do the front suspension. I gotta order axles for it. I've got we're gonna narrow the rear end about three inches on each side so we can get the spokes tucked up under the fenders. But it's gonna take four to five days to get axles, so I need it where I can still work on it. You ready? Did you eat your Wheaties? Yeah, you ready to push? All right, I feel like this is a good stopping point for video one. Come back, we'll either be doing front suspension or going a little farther along with the three link. Tune in.